Hey guys, so I've got a really big uh, luxury beauty haul for you today. So Beautylish had their gift card event uh, several weeks ago. So I took advantage of the gift card event while that was going on and then I spent my gift cards already. So uh, this haul is a mixture of those two hauls basically that I did at Beautylish. So I did buy some makeup, I bought some hair care, I bought some skin care. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the makeup? Okay, my pile of makeup. <laughs> just fell to the ground. Hopefully none of it broke, especially because one of these products is a repurchase because I broke the other one. Anyway, um, the first thing I want to mention is the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. You guys know how much I love this product. It was out of stock for a very, very long time. There were rumors that they were reformulating it. There were rumors it wasn't coming back, that they were discontinuing it. Apparently, they have not reformulated it. Apparently, this is it was just out of stock. And so it was back in stock at Beautylish during the gift card event. So I purchased the shade Granite. I've been using it already because I did, uh, I did get these products actually quite some time ago. I just haven't gotten a chance to haul them. Um, so I did get the shade Granite. It is actually what I have in my brows today. There is one observation that I made. I find that the texture of the actual gel is the same. I don't think that there's anything different there, but I don't really see as many fibers in here. And I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I like haven't gotten in there yet, or maybe the fibers are smaller, but I remember pre, I wish I had some, but the, all of my older fiber brow gels are so old that I threw them away. But I feel like I remember pulling this spoolie out and seeing like the fibers, like them being very, very visible and making the spoolie almost look a little bit hairy. So if you guys have purchased this fiber brow gel lately, this sort of new batch, will you let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are? I mean, I, I still feel like it works beautifully. I love, love, love the formula and the consistency of the actual gel. It's like perfect. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's like right in the middle. It's like the Goldilocks of fiber brow gels. But I just, yeah, I just feel like maybe there just aren't as many fibers. And then every time I feel like maybe I see a fiber, it's actually part of the spoolie. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's as fibrous as the previous version. Anyway, I did get that. I'm so happy it's back in stock. I have been using it quite a bit. Um, so that's the first piece of makeup that I purchased. Um, and then I decided to repurchase some of my Surratt lip slicks. Now, if you watched any of my declutter videos uh, back from Mishmas, I decluttered a lot of my Surratt lip products because they were just old. They were um, probably purchased when I first moved here to Vegas. And I would say that would be like almost five years ago. I think some of them were actually purchased before I moved to Vegas. So anyway, they were very, very old, um, but I love the lip slick uh, formula. And I ended up getting, let's see, the shades Paramore and Fee, Fee Soie, S-O-I-E. Anyway, I'll list everything down below in my description box. Uh, but let me go ahead and open these up and swatch them for you. So these lip slick lipsticks from Surratt are just the absolute, like perfect lip product, I think for the spring summer because they are glossy. They are really, um, kind of soft and moisturizing. They just have like this really kind of juicy look to them. And so they come in this like kind of slender uh, packaging versus like a regular lipstick. And it has like the clicky bottom here. So you can't like bring the product back down once you've raised it. So it's one of those. So definitely be careful. Um, but here is Paramore. Can you see how like glossy it looks and they're really, really well pigmented, but for like a lip product being as pigmented as they are, I don't find them like difficult to use in that like, I feel like I have to be really specific. There's just something really, really magical about this formula. So here's the Fee, Fee Soi. I'm really butchering that uh, pronunciation, but I decided to get these shades because spring, summer, and I wanted something that was a little bit more pink and one that was a little bit more peach. And I just thought, oh, these would be absolutely beautiful. So I picked those two up and I used to have like all the shades. I think I kept maybe like one or two of my favorites. And I, 
yeah, I just, I want to build up this collection again because I love, love, love this formula. So comfortable, so easy to apply, beautiful colors, and the finish. I mean, you won't get a glossy finish like this from something in a stick. So that is the Surratt Lip Slicks. And then I decided to, God, I hope this didn't break. I decided to pick up the Sicily uh, Press Powder. So I have shade number two, Natural, which is the shade that I use, loved. I just, I love this powder. It is so beautiful on the skin. It has just a really, really slight, slight, like demi satin kind of finish. Just like, just shy of it being like a dry matte. And I dropped that powder. I dropped it, it broke into a million pieces. I was really heartbroken. So I ordered this and I just dropped this again. So hopefully this is not broken. No, this is still intact. Thank goodness. I really have butterfingers sometimes. So this is the Sicily Press Powder. The full name is the Fito Pudre Compact. And there are, I think, four or five shades. Anyway, I have, this is number two, again, natural. And then I have shade, I think it's like four, and I'll use that as a bronze. Oh, I just love this powder. It's so fine, it's so effortless, it's so undetectable on the skin, but it really like takes shine down, it really sets makeup down beautifully. I just love it. And I love that it's in pressed form because I generally prefer loose powders. I just feel like the finish of them it just, they just look a little bit more natural, a little bit uh, more flawless. Um, but you really can't argue with like the practicality of a pressed powder. And this is probably one of my favorite pressed powders out there. I just love it. So I'm glad I, I picked up a new one and I hope I don't break this one. And then I picked up a couple eyeshadow palettes. So this is one of the Etadu Vizier palettes that I didn't have. And uh, it's called Minxet, and this came out a while ago, and I don't know, I just, I remember like it registering, you know, I saw it on Instagram and I thought, oh, I love that, I can't wait to get that. And then I just, I don't know, I just never picked it up. So anyway, I took the opportunity <laughs> to pick this up, and oh, how cool, it has like this leopard print. Oh, there you can see it. This leopard print on the packaging, and ooh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> this is, I'm glad I waited actually because this is perfect for spring, summer for like a bronzy, warm tone look. Ooh, these look gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me just do a couple of swatches here. I'm gonna do the shades that really stand out to me. I just went down this <laughs> second row there. So those are those three satin shades. Wow, gorgeous. Beautiful, you guys know how much I love that Kashmiri palette. I just love, love, love Viseart shadows. Wow, I'm so glad I picked this up. And I love the size of these palettes. Just really, really handy. I mean, to have like 12 shades, basically in the palm of your hand, so nice. All right, so that is the Minxet Etendu palette from Viseart. And I end up keeping all the boxes to my Viseart palettes because they have the shade names on the back of the box, but they don't have them actually in the palette. And not that I, I don't know, not that I really need the shade names, but I feel like this is really good information to have. So anyway, I end up keeping them in the box. And then the other eyeshadow palette I picked up is from Hindash. It's the Butopsy Press Pigment Palette. So this is the first one that he came out with. And this is another palette I just, I was meaning to get, meaning to get, meaning to get, and then finally took advantage because of this um, event. So I'm very late to the game. Here's what the palette looks like. And here's the inside. Like that is probably the coolest looking palette I have ever seen. I love this ombre situation. And then you get all the shades in between. So it's just this sort of infinite, infinite eyeshadow palette. I have no idea how the quality is. I think I've heard good things. I can't actually remember, but I'm just, oh, I'm just so excited. Oh, nice. So I just swatched them right down here. So they definitely feel like hard in the pan, um, but it's not like it was difficult to get uh, any product. And I kind of like how they don't seem like overly pigmented. 
I really feel like this is gonna be easy to use. Oh, I'm really excited. I know I'm really late to this particular game, so I don't know if I'm gonna do a video dedicated to this palette or even include this palette, but um, I'm definitely gonna be using it. You'll probably see it in a vlog of mine, more likely. All right, so that was all of the makeup that I purchased. Let's move on to all of the skincare and hair care and all that stuff. I actually had to bring it over in a bag here because I took everything out of the box and then it made it hard to carry over. Anyway, let me go ahead and just dig right in here. Oh, so I picked up another bottle of the La Mer, the tonic. So this is the toner that I use on my face uh, after I wash it. So right now I'm using the Retrove, I can't remember the full name, but it's like a chamomile to uh, toner. And I love that. And I pretty much go between the two, but I really, really love, like this is one of my favorite products from La Mer is this toner. I just feel like it balances out my skin. I've talked about this before, but I feel like if, let's say you use a cleanser and your skin feels like a little bit tight afterwards, maybe you feel like it's been a little, it was a little drying. Um, if you use this toner, it'll make it feel just better. It won't feel as tight. It'll feel a little bit more moisturized. And then if I use a cleanser, maybe it's like a cream cleanser or something, and I feel like my skin is, I don't know, it's just left not really clean feeling, it's left sort of greasy feeling. If I use this toner, it will make my skin feel a little bit cleaner. So I just feel like this is the great like balancer to my skin, and I just love it. And it's a great sort of, for me, like a first like step to prepping my skin for like the rest of my skincare. So had to pick up another bottle. I go through this fairly quickly. My husband also loves, loves, loves this toner. He actually puts it um, in his like beard area after he um, shaves and he swears that it keeps away like blemishes there. So he uses plenty of this as well. <laughs> and then I picked up another Sisley, Sisley Essential Skin Care Lotion. Um, so this is what I use right after my toner. And this, I think I talked about this in my recommendations. So this is what the bottle looks like. Right now I have like the brightening version of this and that one has a lavender scent to it, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So I decided to pick this up cause I'm almost, I'm pretty much done with that one. And I think I have a backup of this, but this is because I use it both day and night. I use it right after I tone. I go through quite a bit of this. So I thought I would take this gift card event uh, opportunity to kind of stock up on this. So this is, like I said, this is the product that I use after my toner and I just feel like it paves the way for the rest of my skincare. It really, really just helps. It's one of those products that I was a little skeptical about when I first used it, but I've been using this for years now. And every time I skip this step, whether I'm traveling and didn't bring this with me or I've run out and I haven't like repurchased it yet, I always regret it. I feel like when I use skincare without using this product first, that it just sort of sits on my skin. It doesn't really absorb as well, but when I use this, I feel like it absorbs into my skin and it just, yeah, it just kind of like elevates the rest of my skincare routine. So anyway, this is like one of those products I cannot live without now. Um, so that is the Essential Skincare Lotion from Sisley. And then I bought a lot of stuff from Sisley actually. I purchased, repurchased actually, their self-tanning, hydrating, facial skincare, and also their body care. So I just finished their Oh my God, I can't get out of my bag. I just finished the body care and I still actually have a bunch of the facial skincare left, uh, but I decided just to get both um, to kind of re-up on it because this is one of my favorite uh, self tanners. Very, very natural, very light. It comes out like a lotion. It doesn't have uh, any of that, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a dye in the actual product that rinses off. Once you rinse off the product, it's not the actual tanner, but it kind of shows you like where you've put it on, which is very handy, but sometimes it's like, I'm not gonna be rinsing it off for a while and I don't want that sitting on my skin. It just kind of looks weird, it also stains my clothing. So anyway, this doesn't have any of that, it just goes on like a lotion and like the tan that you get is really, really light. Like if you're looking for a super, golden bronze tan, you're not gonna get it from this. This just keeps me looking not sickly pale. Like I'm still not like a golden bronze goddess, but it just it just adds like a little bit and I love that. Just like for the everyday kind of bronze, love this. And what else did I get from Sisley? Oh, I got hair care stuff. So I ended up getting another shampoo and 
conditioner. So I've been using this restructuring conditioner. I have that in my shower, it's almost done. And then I've been using a different shampoo actually. This one is number one. The one I've been using is number two. And I think, I think maybe it's like the restructuring shampoo. Anyway, I thought I would give this one a shot because this one is the volumizing one, which I always feel like I can use. You know, my hair isn't the most naturally voluminous. <laughs> so I thought I would give this number one a shot. So this is the very large size. This is the 16.9 fluid ounce, 500 ml bottle. This is the one that comes with its own pump. So in the box, you'll get the actual shampoo and then the pump. It's not sold separately, it, it comes all together, but it's separate in the box. So um, I picked that up and the timing really couldn't be better because like I said, I think I'm pretty much done with the shampoo and conditioner. And I think what I really love about um, the Sicily Hair Care products is that they're very effective, but they're super gentle. Like the shampoo, at least the one that I'm using, the number two, it's very low foaming. And because I wash my hair every day, I don't need something that's gonna like deep clean my hair every single time I wash it. I just need something that's gonna just, you know, kind of take away the impurities, kind of get rid of any styling products that I have in there, refresh my scalp, you know, do those sorts of things without being too drying or too harsh. And yeah, the Sisley products are really, really wonderful for that. So uh, pick that up. And then I also picked up the La Creme 230 from Sisley. So, uh, this is uh, like a heat protectant cream. It's also, it's just, I wouldn't say it's like, it's not like a leave-in conditioner or anything, but because my hair is, or, or can be on the coarser side, I just feel like this kind of tames it. It makes it very, very soft. Um, but because, like I just said, I wash my hair every day, basically means I blow dry my hair every single day. I have to use a heat protectant. So I've been using this one and I'm pretty much done with that bottle, so I decided to re-up on this. It's a non-rinse hair care cream enriched with precious botanical oils in the Complex 230, activated by heat. It restores, nourishes, and detangles hair, protects hair fibers from heat styling tools up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Hair looks and feels silky, under control, stronger, and radiant with beauty. That is definitely one of the things that I appreciate about um, a lot of the Sisley hair care products, actually. The shampoo and conditioner that I'm using and this cream, I feel like they make my hair very, very soft, very, very silky, but they don't make my hair lifeless or doesn't like weigh it down, where I feel like a lot of products that promise you that, uh, like, you know, silky soft hair, it becomes very lifeless. I can't style it. It's just very limp. And I don't get that from the Sicily products. So I think that is probably one of the main reasons why I love, love, love their hair care products. Yeah, because they just, they do all the right things that my hair needs, like soften, make it silky, but because my hair can be very flat, it doesn't take away from volume. It's just good stuff. Um, so that is the Cream 230 from Sicily. All right, so the last hair care product I purchased is from Sashawan. And if you guys, if you guys have been with me for a while, um, Sashawan was introduced to me by Joey, my hairstylist in New York. He's at the Blackstones Collective, and he introduced me to their dark dry shampoo, which I still have, still use, still love. I'm very picky about dry shampoos. Um, so I decided to try this dry shampoo mousse. I, I really don't know <laughs> what this is or how I would use it, but I was so intrigued by the name because I was like dry shampoo mousse because I love their dry shampoo so much. So um, let me see what it says on the back here. A foaming dry shampoo that dries quickly, gives hair a fresh, clean feel without residue or water. Sorry, the writing is very small. Adds texture, volume, and shine. Uh, so to you, spread evenly over the whole hair, never heard that phrase before, over the whole hair or focus in areas that need refreshment and then restyle. Now, I pretty much, like I keep saying, uh, wash my hair every single day. So I don't use a lot of dry shampoo type products because I just shampoo my hair. But on the rare occasion, man, do these come in handy. <laughs> like if I wake up late and I don't have time to wash my hair, 
uh, this may come in very, very handy. Well, I will definitely have to give this a shot and get back to you guys um, because I've never used this. Yeah, most everything, I'm realizing most everything else that I got is like a repurchase or a re-up, um, but this is not. So anyway, I'll get back to you on this. And if any of you guys have tried this product, let us know down below in the comment section what you think. And then the last thing I purchased is the Uma Pure Bliss Wellness Candle. Now, if you watch my Beautylish gift card event recommendations, um, I had a bunch of Uma recommendations. So uh, I decided to pick up this candle. I was like, I like a lot of their other products. Let's give this candle a shot. So it smells very fresh, very clean. Let me see if I can find a description of the fragrance in here. Ah, uh, scent notes, uplifting rose and soothing sandalwood. Yes, I definitely smell the rose and I definitely smell the sandalwood. Uplift your mood and environment with the revitalizing scent of pure bliss, promoting mindfulness, stimulating positivity, and restoring emotional balance. Wow, if a candle can do all that, count me in. Rare rose essential oil raises spirits and promotes an overall sense of confidence, while relaxing sandalwood adds balance and peace. Well, in any case, I like, I like the scent of this and I love the Uma... Um, like the packaging, they always have these beautiful like ink drawings on their products. Um, I think I showed it in that recommendations video. I have one of their body oils and it has like these beautiful drawings on the side. Anyway, beautiful stuff. They even have it on their box here. So that is it for this haul. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you purchased at the Beautylish gift card event, uh, what you purchased with the gift cards, if you're holding off. Um, I am not someone that can hold off <laughs> very easily. As soon as I got them, they were like burning a hole in my pocket. Uh, anyway, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.